people ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All of this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury, and this is... Well then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make a story? I never know where the next one will take me. And the trip? Exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. Until this time. <laughs> Anywhere, everywhere. Hogtown, Ironville, Wooster Falls. Look at all those names. Hard to decide. So that's where you get all them crazy ideas. Yes, blind faith. I collect things. Train schedules, signal lights, train tracks, switches. I collect them all up, write them down, and... Happy old 99. What's that coming down the track? Might be old 99. It might be a story. Fresh air, friendly people. Looks good to me. Do you believe that? You're dreaming. What? Corruption? Muggings? Murder? Suicide? Living in a city full of crazies that doesn't get to you? And you think that's the answer? As a matter of fact, I do. A uh, place where you know everybody and everybody knows you. and People give you the time of day and look out for each other instead of always looking out for number one. You know what you sound like? Not what? A damn fool writer. A nipped in the bud, oh, so sensitive author of books. Probably never published. I got you nailed. I have some stories being considered. You see, by God, I spot them every time. Bleeding hearts of their heads buried in the past. I think the solutions to life's problems are waiting around that bend on small town front porches, hogwash. Son, there's no answers out there. Nothing but boring people and boring houses and boring jerkwater junctions. I'll take the rat race any day, thank you very much. I think otherwise. 
Well, hell, if you think, why not act? I mean, next town comes up, stop the train, jump off, and meet the wonderful folks in your rural paradise. Go on, do it. I believe me, I've thought of it. Sure. Someday, huh? Someday. But right now, you haven't got the guts. Because if you did, you'd grab your suitcase and jump off this train the next time we come to you. <laughs> Excuse me. What's the name of the next town we come to? That'd be, uh, Air One. But no one gets off there. No? Hang on. Well, no one until now. Thank you. Damn fool. Am I? Locked. You'll need it. Looks boring as hell. Sure, you want to get off? Absolutely. Well, in or out? Out. Thank you. Um, I decided to drop in in your town here, kind of spare the moment. Probably staying a couple of days. Would you be able to steer me to a rooming house in town? Something with bed and breakfast, maybe? No? I'll be able to find something, I'm sure. Um, do you have a locker here or something where I could keep my bag and my uh, coat while I find a place to stay? Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you.
Hi. What do you think you're doing? I'm uh, trying to get a drink. I've never seen you before. Well, i never seen you before either. You might as well quit banging on that thing. It's broken already. Hello there, young lady. Is your mother home? See, you have a room for rent. Is it possible? Sorry, room's rented. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Time's the next, uh... I mean, what do you... Comes through about 10 o'clock, but it doesn't stop unless they see a flare out on the track. You're leaving us already, are you?
long time. Long time. Me waiting at that station platform. Who are you waiting for? You. I'm sorry, have we ever met? Do you know me? Didn't say I did. Just said I was waiting. I'm surprised you're here at last, that's all. Surprised? And please. How long were you sitting at the station platform? Oh, 20 years, give or take a few. 20 years waiting for me. Or someone like you. What do you think of our town? Uh, it's nice. What do you think of our people? Quiet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and quiet. You know, when I retired 20 years ago, I set my chair down on that railway station back there. And I've been sitting there ever since, just sitting and waiting. Waiting for something to happen. Didn't know what, couldn't say. But when it happens, I said to myself, I'll know it. I'll know it just as soon as I see it. And I say, yes, sir. That's it. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Train wreck? No. Old girlfriend come back to town after 50 years? No. Right now, it seems to have something to do with you. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, really, but I don't see how it can. Uh, I'm just passing through. It's a spur of the moment kind of thing, you know. Do you know anything about uh, your insides? Maybe my stomach, or... Psychologically? That's it. That's what I mean. What goes on up there in your head? In your mind? You know much about that? Uh, a little. You know, mostly pretty basic. Tell me. Did you, uh, hate many people in your time? Some. Well, there's nothing wrong with hate, is there? I mean, we all do it. But even more than a hate... Didn't you sometimes think you'd like to hit somebody for hurting you? Or maybe even kill them, eh? You know, I don't think there's anybody who hasn't felt that at one time or another. But, you know, you hide it away. Sure. All your life you hide it away. Father and mother tell you what's right, what's wrong. The school says this, the town says that. Law says such and such. Pretty soon you put away all those thoughts of hitting and killing. And by the time you get to be my age, there's an awful lot of yells and screams and blood and lost killings stored up here between the ears. Not a way in the world to get rid of them. No way to work them out of your system. I've got a bottle stored in here. Come on, let's have a nip. Salting down those bodies and putting them on ice in my head all my life. You know, you know there are times when I think I hate everybody in this whole damn town. Oh yeah, standing in my way, making me save up all my nightmares. <laughs> oh, just once, just once, I'd like to be. 
be like one of those old cavemen and pick up my axe and just bash somebody's head in. <laughs> I guess I know what you mean. Oh, everybody, I'd like to do one killing in his life. You know, just to get rid of that rot in his mind for all the killings that he never did. And every once in a while, you get a chance. You know, somebody runs in front of your car. You forget the brakes, keep going. Nobody's to blame. Man just didn't get his foot down on the brake on time. Mm-hmm. But you know, and I know, what really happened, don't we? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, the only killing worth doing is one where they can't guess who did it. Or how or why, huh? Well, I had a notion, oh, maybe 18, 19 years ago. I had this notion, and I've never let go of it. You see, there's only one train stops in this town every day. And it's just pick-up stuff. No one ever gets off. Now, what if you wanted to kill somebody real bad, huh? What would you do, me? Eh? Well, I would go down to that station and I would sit there and I would wait patient, oh, for years, until one day a complete and actual stranger would get off that train for no reason. A man who nobody knows, a man who knows nobody in the town. And then, and only then, would I be certain that I could get up from my chair and I could follow that stranger until I got him someplace inside alone and kill him. Throw him in the river. The body would be found miles downstream. Maybe never found at all. I mean, who would come here? looking for this lost, lonely traveler. He was on his way to somewhere else. No one noticed him getting off. There, there is my idea in a nutshell. And the time has come at last. That stranger got off the train and I knew him. This is, this is incredible. How very much alike we are. You and I, our lives, our thoughts. It's incredible. Just today, I was on the train and I had this thought. I had this notion. I thought how perfect it would be. How, how very perfect it would be if I got off the train in a town where nobody knows me. And I walked through the town with this revolver which I have in my pocket. And I find a stranger. And just like that, kill him and bury him. And no one to know and no one the wiser and no one to guess who did the murder ever. Perfect, I thought, perfect. So, I got off the train. How do I know there's a gun in that pocket? You don't know. Can't be sure. No. No. That's how it is, huh? That's how it is.